about to get started. And today's starting pitcher, Garrett Whitlock. Not the best results a year ago, looking for better this season, Chris. Yeah, and I think this guy understands that if he doesn't make quicker adjustments and show improvement, that the patience that his manager has will not last as long as it did last year. So we'll see if he can get off to a great start. Perhaps the work that he did in the offseason will show. My drive. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. That one's in there. Going warm. Mullins at second with nobody out. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Right hander kicks deals. And he's swinging. Here's Adley Rutschman coming off a four hit effort in yesterday's game. Almost got him. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. That one fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Man, that was pretty gross right there. One out and a runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Anthony Santander at the plate. And that one fouled off. Runner at second, two down. Here in the second game of the series. Two. Line and a base hit into right. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. First and third, two away. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that's the third out. Strand a couple. Now the Red Sox will get their shot. No school. You're dialed into the show. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the Leading velocity off. on the fastball. Oh, right, yeah. Elevate that and that's then that's break that's you that's off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Jaron Duran leading things off and takes a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Here's the 0-2. Next offering misses down and away. Come back into the mound. In plenty of time to first, one up, one down. Check out the Red Sox lineup. A really frustrating showing for them in their last game. Lots of traffic on the bases, but they left a ton of runners on base. Couldn't cash in their chances, Chris. They had plenty of chances. There's nobody to blame it on but themselves offensively. They just did a poor job converting in those situations. You have to figure out what's your plan going to be. Maybe watch some tape from the last game. Make the adjustment. So if you get those opportunities in this one, you've got a much better chance of scoring some runs. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just no a simple left. ground ball the other way with bad eyes on the man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now a chance. Run around the goal. Oh, Pitch no. misses in. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, we all know this team is struggling right now, and sometimes you just got to do something different to generate some offense. A little more aggressive right there to put the pressure on the opponent. We'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for this team. Next offering is downstairs. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. The throw in, but it's offline. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Man aboard, and here is Devers. Swing and a miss, strike one. No ball, one strike. Grounder might be two. Henderson to second, and that's two. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now one nothing. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, set to go. And now it's Austin Hayes. And a pitch. On the ground right side. It's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Ramon Urias, the next to hit for the Orioles. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Whitlock, in his fourth year, he features a sinker, a changeup, a slur, and he works in a four-seamer. Swing and a miss. One and one. one and one. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Tying run is at first. Here at the top of the second. Fights it off, you'll see another. Line to left. Yoshida puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Ryan O'Hearn comes up to hit. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with the knock in this one. Fought off foul. Hayes at first, one gone. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. No ball. Pretty clear to me. He's trying to go deep right there, but you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. Run around the move. On the ground. They put the tag on him. Back to first. Got a play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We head to the bottom of the Leading second. Off. Now batting oh, Tristan Casas. The, the right-hander back to work. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Next offering is foul back. 0-2 oh now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. 0-2. Left-hand batter waits. Right through there. Got him. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh, 
that ball. misses, and it's one and zero. Just two. missed. Two zero. And ball. another ball. No That's ah. in there, and it's three and one. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Ah. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. New inning getting started. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. Whitlock. Back to work. Bounce to the left side. Ball. And it goes just foul. You know, it didn't take Mountcastle long to make a splash at the major league level. In 2021, he became the first rookie to lead the Orioles in home runs since Kurt Bleffery in 1965. The 0-2. Whips it to Casas. Lead, out. Lead off man retired here in the third. Now, Cedric Mullins doubled his first time up. Swing and a miss. Nice oh, change up. The Orioles trailing by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. He deals. One, two. Fights that one away, still one and two. Oh, Swings oh, and misses, oh. struck him out. And stepping oh, in oh, is oh, the speedy oh, Jordan oh, Westberg. Oh, struck oh, out on just three pitches oh, last oh, time. Oh. A swing and a soft liner. He's got it. And that is out number three. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's Reese McGuire. And here it comes. And that's in there at the knees. No ball. One strike. Two now. Ball. To the right side, Mountcastle. And he handles out. it himself for the out. Here's Trevor Story now. That one missed out. by a lot. And that's ball one. One out, base is empty. Next offered in there for a strike. And it's one, ball. one and one. one and that's in there at the knees. Ground ball right that's side. Foul ball. And foul ball. One down, base is empty. Yes. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because ah. it was in a very hittable location. Oh, Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question ball. yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Two outs. Up the middle. Whips it to Mountcastle. Bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. Red Sox. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Adley Rutschman. Adley. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. You know, these Orioles just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. And that's been true again today. 
Not one, close with that one. And a count one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle. Story. Gets the catcher yeah. by a step. Anthony Santander will hit next. One for one with a single so far. Santander. A little out front there as he swings through it. Oh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there. One one. In the dirt. And that is ball one. Righty to the plate. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Got it by him. Go to play. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake butt, do something to break it up. Swings through that one for strike two. 0 2. Two down, nobody on. That misses the zone. 1 and 2 to count. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Runner on the go. No. Pitch is low. No. Throw to second. Great jump. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying. No home run so far. So trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. And the right-hander deals. Ha. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One ball. One the start. Orioles down by a run. Top half of inning number four. Popped up right side. Rafaela under this one. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. One left for the Orioles. Bottom of the fourth. And stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. The pitch. Ball one there. This one smashed down the right field line. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. He was all over that one. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Bottom of the zone and a cold strike. That one to first. He's in there. Devers at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Oh. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Yeah, and here's a fun stat on Devers. He's at his best when he's hitting oh. homers and doubles. And by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. Well, classic no, pitch sequencing no. there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. Pulls it in on the warning track. Here now the Red Sox DH. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Yo 
Yoshida leads off first with two down to the inning. And oh. ball one. No, he's one really one. working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that. They take the force out, out number three. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four. It's the Red Sox. Back in Boston, ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's going to be Ramon Urias. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. And that is strike Go one. Ball. Urias, a former Gold Glove winner, 29 years old, and he's a native Go, of Mexico. That one misses one and one. The pitch. On the ground, right side, Rafaela. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Oh, ah. stands in here. Tried to hold back his oh, swing what? there, but went around. Gets him to chase after that one. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Backfoot slider ties him up, struck him out. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and here is Tyler O'Neill. No. Yeah, that's outside, and yeah, that's ball one. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to He's bounce out. over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college Ooh. classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Berdansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Story in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Red Sox leading it by two. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow down. Two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Line in the left center, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Now the number two hitter, Sidane Rafaela. Hit in the air, center field. Makes the grab on the run. And the inning is over. Boston strands a pair, but they're on top 2-0. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. Whitlock back to work. And a foul ball. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count oh. and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Kicks and deals. In the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. Ripped on a line. He's there. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Stepping in, Adley Rutschman. That's inside. Ball one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And a foul ball. Two outs, bases empty. Ah. 
Big swing and a miss. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Lifted in the air now the left side and it stays fair. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielders. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the series, and we are starting over. It's 2-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. Two outs, nobody on. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. The hitter early okay. and off balance on that swing. If I'm the pitcher, I'm taking a little bit more off. See if you can get him to chase something in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. Outside low. Going to count one and two. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Story brings it in. And that is that. Baltimore with a two-run shot this inning. 2-2 two -two game. This is Orioles baseball. Uh, Bottom of the six, still stepping in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. Too and that one's a little bit low. One and oh. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown yeah. inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing one the bats. One strike. Swing and a miss. One and two. One, two. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Out. Lead off man retired in the sixth. It's Rafael Devers in the box. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Man, no I mean, nice job just presenting it no. to be better than it actually was. One one. Kicks and fires. Ball, and delivers two. outside. Two All ball. tied up one here strike. in the bottom of the sixth. Ground ball right side. Whips it to Mountcastle. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Tristan Casas getting ready to hit. Swings through that one. one one. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. No ball. Two strikes. Next pitch is downstairs. Left-hand hitter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. That one just misses. Two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see. Got it. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order, go the Red Sox. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Isaiah Campbell. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. 
And there's a foul ball. Righty delivers. That one finds the zone. And it's nothing in two. And there's a ball. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now a chance for Ramon Rios. And there's one down. Now here's the Orioles DH. Ryan O'Hearn. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. First what offering up? misses badly for ball one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Brennan Bernardino, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Number 63 getting cranked up as well. Swing and a miss as he was late. If you're a base one runner, ball. you've got to stay strike. dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a count one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Ball. That one at 95 missed up top. And the count is two and two. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the top half of inning number seven. Next oh, pitch yeah. is outside. At this point of the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Ryan Mountcastle waiting on deck for the Orioles. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. And a pitch. On the ground, a second might be two. Over to Story for one, and that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one. Back here at Fenway, and now the DH, number 47. The pitch. Here's the strike. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And he'll be safe at first. Now back, right Tyler O'Neill. Tyler Brandon Hyde out of the dugout now, and he's ready to make a move to the bullpen. Ryan Baker gets the ball now. Number three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a pitch. Two, two. He goes down looking. 
Reese McGuire now at the plate. And that one fouled off. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. Here the bottom of the seventh. Ground ball could be two. There's one. Yep. And that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Eight. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number, number 63. Three. Gets an opportunity to square off against his former team, so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here. Mountcastle goes after no that ball. one for strike one. one. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Two. Two. two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Tosses the first. And that's one away. At the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Cedric Mullins. The next to hit for the Orioles. First pitch misses. Movement in the bullpen. Brennan Bernardino. Up and throwing. To the right side. And they get he Mullins out. for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Westbrook ah. now in the box. Comes up empty oh, with a swing there. All tied up. And we're at the top of the eighth. Ah. Right through there for a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Orioles held in check there. Score remains 2-2. Back here at Fenway Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's Trevor Story. Fouled off. He was late. The old one. That oh. one missed. Got the back going too soon at strike two. two. Right-handed reliever. Bows it off, still one and two. And he deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The one-two. Got him! He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that. So the batting order turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. Ball one there. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Ball. Next pitch Good inside. Job. And a count two and one. And it skips in here. One down, base is empty. Fouls one away and now three and two. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. At the belt and fires. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And next for the Red Sox, Sidney Rafaela. Well, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Swing and a miss as he was out no front. Ball. If it were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Squeezes it. Now at the plate, Masataka Yoshida. One for three. And fouled off. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. 
Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball. Oh, oh, got him looking. That's the inning. One left for the Red Sox. And this game is still tied at two and two. Back here at Fenway, all set for the start of the inning. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. In the air, left side. That gets down for a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And there's one down. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Swing and a miss. Strike one. No ball. One strike. Swings through that. Thank you. You want to miss towards the corners, not in the middle. Right there, he does a great job with hard break at the end. He ran it inside. Very difficult to do anything when you're tied up like that as a hitter. The pitch. This to third. Devers. Slings it across. And that is that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. CNL Perez. And they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now I wanted a wall. 1 1. Good eye right there. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Got him. A huge out to start the bottom of the ninth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. And a strike on the outside edge. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. Good job to fight that one off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series. And we're just two games in. So hoping to see some. Whips it to first. That's the third out. And we're headed to extras. So they make sure. Back now, we're at extras, and there's a new... Looks like we've got a substitution at second. On the run for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Ramon Urias digs in now. The pitch. Runner takes off for third. Pitch in the dirt. Throw to third. Save. That wasn't close. I'd say an aggressive roll of the dice there to steal third in this spot, but they felt good about it, and it worked out. Now the game plan changes a little bit at the plate to get that go-ahead and run home. The defense might pull the infield in. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And now the lefty. Here's a high chopper. And he grabs it, foul. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020. 
with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and Boog, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they... That one is absolutely belted. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Here's the throw. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add on. And the batter now, Ryan O'Hearn. Yep. Swing and a miss. And it's no all on. One, strike. one on, nobody out. A run in here in the top half of the 10. Describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty ball. of bite on the end. Mountcastle, the One next ball. to hit, Good takes side. outside. Swings through that one for strike one. one that was the pitch to one hit. Four-seam fastball instead of that sinker ball that makes you hit it on the ground. He missed a good one. To short, could be two. Story. Flips it for one. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Pitch yeah. kicks away. Oh, one. And the runner stays where he is. One run across in the frame so far here in extra innings. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing in two. The pitch. Got him looking. And that is that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. You're watching. Now into the ball game on defense, Jorge Mateo. Coming on for the Orioles, Yenier Cano. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. Battling here as he fouls it away. He deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Man at second. Caught him looking for the K. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. McGuire in the box now. Take strike one. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. One more. Next offering misses, and it's a ball and a strike. Here comes a pitch. Oh. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Trying to deliver as the hero. Right oh. through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. The Red Sox down to their final strike. One, two. And that one gets past the catcher. 
So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. With the tying run at third, and the home team trying to pull it out. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swing and a miss, him out. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Well, this is a big win on the road and going extras into 10. Uh, so hard to pull those out, but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late. When you can do that, it kind of calms everything down. Play ball!